Hello everybody! Today we are doing a video on the Smasher Bridge. Now the Smasher Bridge is a build of mine which I use quite commonly around my amplifiers around Twine Endurance. Now for this current build this is on Valley Amplifier. For this video I'll be showing you how to build it, some clips of it being actually used and yeah just some recommendations on how to use it as well as some other mechanics that can be used with this build. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, <laughs> have a nice day. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be covering the Smash Up Bridge design which I use on my Valley Amplifier as well as many other places in my home base. Um, for this build it's very good at controlling the bosses, the smashers and the propane. However, I will just add to the build just to note right now, if you want to make it for the propane, if any are going to get through, just make sure you add some anti-air traps to the corners of the actual amplifier. And this will help against the propane if any come through to want to throw just to make sure that they do not tear the structure down of the lighthouse since the lighthouse is the aim to try and keep up throughout the wave to survive. Anyway, I'll get straight on with this wave to actually show you how it works. Now, if you want to use this, I'd this works very, very well for the waves in which smashes are going to be getting through and be a lot of them, especially on the UFO wave, because the on the UFO wave, there's, there's you've got to deal with the UFO and this just allows you to kind of ignore the smashes and let them do their own thing. Without further ado, I'll let you watch the video. So this is wave 15 at Valley and this is just my tunnels. It's basically just a load a load of tar and wall launchers it's just aimed at just resetting everything I, I don't i really don't want to try um, working out where to place um, gas traps and whatever else at the minute with the propane just self blowing up but yeah so this is the smasher bridge up here however i did notice um with the block off um i do need to um, work on that because yeah as you see the uh, the little ones are getting there so I'll probably add a bit more to the block off but if we look at the actual where the rest are gonna be going they're gonna be going around here for the wait for one to come up Right, so what I'm intending on doing for this wave though is just letting you kind of see what happens throughout this whole wave and I purposely, like the aim of this is to kind of just ignore everything. Uh, I kind of like it if you can sort of mess around with the um, smashers. So yeah, we've got one smash which is already number one up there. And if we just let the is it a mini boss? Yeah, the mini boss hatched from the egg. So, brilliant. And we'll just go and sit on top of the lighthouse build. Now, yeah, we just sit here and just wait. That's that's kind of it. Just sit here and wait it out. So, yeah. I'll just leave you guys to watch it now. Basically what's happening is we're standing on top of this lighthouse build so no takers can get us. Then we also have it where all the smashers will be pathing up around this kind of cycling kind of thing up the top here. So this is the smasher bridge. The aggro is drawn up towards the top side nearest myself. So yeah, they are trying to get the inner corner structures on the amp right at the top. And you'll see, <laughs> they keep trying to come round, but it's such a shame because there's a lot of launchers. And 
yeah, if you just make sure you put those half walls on. So those half walls you can see right there, just make sure you put those on as these smashers only generally get knocked about half a tile now when launched by a wall launcher. And then just make sure you use tar pits so that they can't charge through. And then for the minibus, if the minibus is actually sort of around the load of smashers, if the smasher gets knocked, it will also knock off the minibus as well. So the minibuses can get knocked off when they're sort of huddled with a load of smashers. However, if the minibus does get through, what you can do is just get ready to edit the floor and edit them through. So like this, just edit them through. And then you can just jump back on the lighthouse if you have any takers. But for this round, I didn't have any takers, so I didn't have to, didn't have to worry there. Yeah, this is the Smasher Bridge for Bali. I hope you've liked this. I'll just go on and show the full build. Now, this is a clip from another one of my runs in which the minibus is just showing that they can get knocked off when sort of barged into by another smasher. There we go, and he's down. So, yeah, if you've got them all kind of huddled up together, it can uh, be in your favour a little bit because they end up like knocking the bosses off as well for you. There's like an awful lot of them all grouped up. So yeah, this is from another run of mine. Um, it's also on wave 15. But as you'll see in a second, the smashers can actually sort of knock the mini bosses off with them when they get punched by the wall launcher. So just keep an eye on this and dunk. And he'll get nudged off when the smashers get nudged. So. I thought that was also something that's pretty cool. What are you doing, Mr. Taker? And yeah, this is the Smasher Bridge. So yeah, this is just showing also how the lighthouse works. So this is the lighthouse build, which is on top of the amp. And as you can see, the Takers can't actually get you at all. So we can just stand here on top of the amp completely fine. Now if you do jump, they will also be able to aggro at you. But as long as you've got these walls that float one up above the walls around the amplifier, they can't actually hit you. We have a break. So, yep. Hey, well I um, hope you enjoyed the clips of basically of this being in action. And now what I'm going to do is just show you how to build this. So again, this is the Smasher Bridge over at Valley Amplifier. And there's my Valley Tunnels, which I'll get to in a build guide for this as a whole build in general. But just for this, I'm just going to be showing this for now. So to actually build it, if we come to the corner of the amplifier on the northwest side of the valley, we're just going to be putting in these little walls in the corners and then connecting this one up with an arch rate to the floor piece which is connected up to flat up here. And then this is mostly just to help um, support the lighthouse build, which the lighthouse build is just the four archways that are around the amplifier. We've then we've added on these extra small pieces on the sides. Now these are just low walls. You can also edit them to then be like an archway there. Just to make it easier to see when you've got them kind of going around here. But uh, yeah, so once we're at the top, what you're gonna do to build this thing is we're going to get, so this is the edge just here. We're just going to be placing four floors along this terrain to be meet with the corner of here and then four walls and then we're just going to be placing three of these little thin walls and um, this these are just here to keep these smashers on the left hand side since they only get knocked about a half tile when knocked by the launcher now 
what we're going to do is have this flat piece at the end which is suspended over the edge and then you're just going to be placing one or you can have this down there and all of this is just to help support the structures of the lighthouse now for when the wave is actually in action you can stand on this build as this will just protect you from the takers now you can feel free to edit this as you feel to please as long as it remains a agreeable structure then yeah that's basically it as long as your base which we could on here as long as your base is kept far enough away from the amplifier so we have one two three and you can place these sort of structures here but as long as this line you haven't got walls here or try to place structures about here then this build should work perfectly fine for you so basically keep everything away from this line so again one two three and then four so we're just going to be making sure that we haven't got stuff here and then there shouldn't be any problem with them just walking straight up to the top so just keep keep everything kind of all the walls past there now something i have got is just these kind of pyramid block offs And yeah, um, I'll have a full build guide up for the entire valley, but this is a shorter version just to show off the Smasher Bridge so that it's um, I can just show this in other builds and it will just be easier to just say, oh, this is what it is. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed yourselves watching this. I hope you use this for um, Wave 25 because this is this could be super helpful for the... UFO because you can just leave these smashers to just run around in circles and you can just leave them um, and just focus on the UFO so yeah have a good time see you guys around and uh, I hope you enjoy the update as well which is coming <laughs> bye